guys, this is Starfall Galaxy and welcome to my very first room page for Morgana support. Now this is for Season 8 and what I'll be doing is I will be taking you through um, the runes I've chosen, the page, secondary source, and the reason why um, I've selected these runes for Morgana. <clears throat> so let's get started. So first of all, we have Airy. Now I've seen some people run Meteor, uh, which is for me is kind of the choice, you should always be running Summoner Airy. Summoner Airy is easy to proc, um, let's face it, you can do it with auto attack, you can do it with any spell and it's a guaranteed hit, it also shields, so it's very good with your black shield, black shield normally just does magic damage, but with this, you can actually block anything, so for example, like ignite, physical damage, it's just overall better than uh, Meteor, especially if you're not hitting your Qs or your ultimates and you're trying to use Meteor with, uh, with your W, then there's, high, then there's a very low chance that Meteor will not hit, sorry, Comet, and um, you will not get the damage from it. At least with this one, if you need your W to help push the wave, harass, area will guarantee a hit and some damage. So overall, it's a better utility skill. On the second one, we go for Mana Flow Band. Uh, Nullify Nob you should not be using. We definitely don't need Ultimate Hat because Morgana's ultimate cooldown, I personally don't think, is too long. And you personally need the mana regen, and it's easy to proc as well with W if you're going to harass with it. You easily be able to build up the 250 mana the mana required to get the mana flow ban um, passive working. So this one is just really really good for mana uh, mana regen in general for Morgana um, in the laner phase and overall. So on this page there is multiple ones you could probably use, but for me personally I always prefer Celerity, if you really want to go for early game damage you could go Absolute Focus, or if you want to go for some better scale in CDR, you know, you could go Transcendence, but for me Transcendence isn't a particularly good rune on a duo bot, especially since it could take up to, say, roughly, let's say roughly 15 minutes, depends on how the game goes, if it's going well, 12 to 15, if it's going really bad, it could be up to 20 minutes before the rune kicks in, so I always should go for Celerity. Celerity it kicks in straight away, you get base movement speed which is always really good and then you get some like AP from it as well which is also not a bad thing and it's a perma stat, you know, so for me it's just really good. Movement speed is a heavy underrated stat, especially as support um, when you have a lot to deal with and if you're getting ganked. And okay, so the one below it, we are using Scorch. Now if you're using Water Walking, um, probably I would say you're using, heavily using the wrong one unless you intend to roam a lot through the river. But even then, I don't think it's worth it, to be honest. Um, for me, you should always be using Scorch, because of the harass. You know, it's very good. The addition damage makes it very good in lane, especially with your W, it's easy to proc. And on top of Airy, you get a bunch of free damage, and it's just such a good poke. You know, just really, really good. But if you want to go for better scaling, you could always go Gathering Storm. Which will give you skin towards the late game, but let's face it, these games these uh, these days aren't going that distant, so it's roughly like say mostly like 35 minutes. You know, so Gavin Storm is still good, but I always prefer scores just for the extra damage. But if you are going against someone who maybe is like a healing support, like say like a Sono has tons of shields, Nami has tons of heals, you know, and you're feeling the scores just isn't like, you know, worth it, then you could go for scaling. You can just outscale them, and then mid to late game, you'll be doing more damage, and their heals won't count for so much. But otherwise, if you want the early game impact, go for Scorch. And then on the secondary tree, we want to go into Inspiration. I mean, there are, you could technically you can go into like uh, Domination if you really want to. You could probably get some Zombie Wards, and then Ingenious Hunter for the extra CDR on your active item because you'll be using Zonyas a lot. But if you really want to do that, you really should be going like the Inspiration tree. Stopwatch, stopwatch, it gives you a bit of extra safety at 10 minutes, <clears throat> but in one of the patches I'll be buffing it, so it'll be down to 8. But overall, and it's allow you to like make the plays, because sometimes you like to flash, ultimate, get stun off, and I'll be focusing you, so the stopwatch will give you that extra safety. Plus, uh, later on, you know, when you buy Zonyas, because Zonyas is one of your core items, uh, which you should be buying, they will give you the extra 15% uh, cooldown on the Zonyas, so you'll be able to use it a lot more. And then afterwards, personally I like to use Cosmic's Insight for the 5% CDR because yet again, 5% CDR on, you know, everything gives you an extra 5% uh, max cap, uh, some of the spells and your active items. So from this alone, you know, you're going to get 15% from that and you're going to get 5% from the CDR. Zonius is going to be doing 20% extra CDR off your Zonius alone. 
But if you really want to, I mean, you could swap this out sometimes if you're against a poke heavy lane. Say, say for example, you're, you're um, playing against a Velkos or maybe a Lux, you know, anything with heavy poke, you could run Biscuits because then it'll give you the extra sustain lane, you know, um, avoid for it. And then you could literally say, like, you know, mm, I need to get rid of the 5% CDR because I'm going to get some poke lane and survivability, better lane and phase with the additional um, regen will help me better later on. You know, and then you can always run CDR boots if you really want to afterwards, you know, to make up for it. But I need to go biscuits, but that is pretty much what I'd be running as standard. It should be airy, mana flow burn, celerity, scorch, perfect timing, and cosmic insight. Now this is good for any elo, it doesn't really matter, you know, um, give it a try, see how you get on with. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. See if there's anything else that you prefer, but overall I've been playing Morgana, Mastery 7 with Morgana now. Uh, so I've played quite a few games. I had quite a bit of success on her, um, and personally, overall, plenty of testing. This is preferably my favourite rune setup for Morgana support. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I look forward to your comments, and until next time, I'll see you then.